What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a good day. So today got the day off work, so I'm going to be filming a vlog for the day. The time is currently quarter past ten. Got to get to the gym for eleven. Hitting a push day. The gyms have reopened on Saturday, so I've already done push pull legs because it's now Tuesday. Um, so ideally I would have a rest day today, but because I've got the day off work, I may as well take advantage of it and use it to go to the gym when it's not busy and film a workout as well. So yeah, I'm feeling really good that gyms are back open, ready to get back into it. My doms are terrible, I'm in a lot of pain to be fair, but just going to push through it, not go crazy, just focus on the form, my muscle connection, all that good stuff. So yeah, I woke up a bit late, so I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to be having the most anabolic of breakfast because I need to leave in... 15 minutes and I've not got anything ready. I'm all about being honest, so I'm gonna have a chocolate brioche and two chocolate pancakes as well, and that'll do me. But I'll make up for it later in the day with good food, lots of protein, so it's all right, it's not the end of the world, you know. I'm really not that hungry, like in the morning, I don't know what it is, I just really, I can't eat, like I can barely eat anything, I just can't digest it at all, so that'll be enough energy for my workout. I have some pre workout job done happy days but yeah it's a nice day outside i'm feeling good let's have a good day let's go positive vibes lovely <laughs> yeah i'm gonna quickly eat that food get some water down me get ready for the gym scoop of pre-workout give me the energy boost i don't actually often have the full scoop of pre-workout because i'm quite sensitive to caffeine. I mean, that's not even a high stimulant caffeine as well. That's like 150 milligrams. So yeah, I just like having half a scoop, three quarters of a scoop is enough for me. Um, I think if I had a 300 milligram, like insane pre-workout, I'd probably have a cardiac arrest and die. So yeah, not for me. Just before I get into the workout, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like the video and subscribe if you're not already. So first up, we started off with bench press. Did some warm up sets before this, also warmed up the shoulders as well. So I did three working sets with 70 kg for 10 reps, really focusing on my form. Shoulders pinned back, elbows at 45 degrees, feet firmly planted on the floor, just so we've got that solid base to bench press and make sure we've got all the tension on the chest and the tricep. Was feeling really good to be fair. Um, a lot better than I expected, felt really good to be back on the bench um, and excited to kind of progress and see where I can get. And then I thought I'd try 80 kg just for as many reps as I could because I was feeling good. Turns out that wasn't a good idea because I had my shoulder surgery on my left shoulder and it really didn't feel stable at all, like it's not recovered. And I think it's on the fourth rep, you can see my shoulder just kind of goes and I struggle to get the weight up. Yeah, look at that. It just kind of went, my chest felt all right, it was just my shoulder. So we'll work our way up back to 80 again. Then we've got the incline chest press, 30 kg for three sets of 10 reps. Again, shoulders back, feet down, just so all the focus is on your upper pecs. Love this exercise for your upper chest. Really helps you to develop that bigger chest, just focusing on getting the squeeze at the top. I've just realized, I think I only actually did nine reps here, but I meant to do 10. Um, but yeah, then we've got tricep push downs for three sets of 12. Focusing on keeping your elbows in, not too much movement because you want all the tension to be on your triceps. Keep your shoulder blades back again. So just want that constant tension, really focusing on squeezing the weight down and squeezing the tricep at the, at the bottom of the movement and just focusing on, on the form, really miss doing the exercise. Then we've got the peg deck for four sets of 12 really focusing on not going too heavy just the mind muscle connection form a lot of people tend to lean forward and then they bring in their front delts and take the emphasis away from the chest but i love this exercise really good squeeze time under tension just locked in there love it again i think my cameraman stopped filming there but 12 reps and then did dips for three sets of 10 love this exercise for my triceps i struggled a bit here to be fair because my triceps were burnt out and I think, again, only nine reps. I meant to do 10, I can't count today, obviously. Um, but love that exercise. Then we did side lateral raises. Favorite exercise for your shoulders, for your side delts. Just really get the burn, focus on not swaying, having the tension on your side delts. You don't need a heavy weight. Did this for four sets of 12 reps. Then we've got the machine shoulder press for three sets of 10 reps. Like this exercise again, because you just locked in there, did a lightweight, focused on full range of motion, 
getting in a good squeeze at the top really good for working all your shoulders um, one of my favorite exercises missed using the machines then finally finished off with tricep push downs um, on the machine just focusing on really getting that squeeze at the bottom of the movement keeping your elbows tucked in you don't want them to flare out because you want all the tension on your triceps and just focusing on the form and just burning out my triceps really um, and that was it for the workout then cheeky little pump check looking good arms looking decent there as well so it's like half two in the afternoon now finished my push session was unreal really good wasn't much food in the house so i just had some lasagna for my lunch then i'm gonna have a protein shake as well just to make sure i'm hitting my protein intake this is the protein i've got at the moment impact whey protein chocolate mint very nice flavor of protein probably one of my favorites in my opinion impact whey protein is one of the best proteins for the price because it's one of the cheapest ones this one has 18 grams of protein per scoop and it's only 98 calories and like two grams of fat two grams of carbs so it's really good I don't know about you guys, but I personally have my protein with water because, I mean, it tastes all right, to be fair. Obviously, it doesn't taste as nice of, with milk, but I find it a lot easier to digest and I struggle to kind of digest milk and it can make me feel a bit sick, so I just have it with water. And also, if you're trying to cut, having it with water is good, obviously. If, if you're bulking, it's better to have it with milk. But yeah, I'm going to start lean bulking, so I don't really need the extra calories from the milk because I'm, I'm only going to be in a few few hundred calorie surplus. So yeah, I had just over one and a half scoops of protein there, so probably about 35 grams of protein. I think there was about 40 grams in the lasagna, so probably on about 90 grams of protein for today, so we're on track. And also, I've just realised my traps look decent in this lighting. Traps and shoulders, definitely one of my better body parts. So yeah, I ended up having a really good push session. Didn't take it too far, like I said in kind of my previous video, just getting a feel for the movements, just establishing the mind-muscle connection again. I don't want to overdo it and end up injuring myself, but really enjoyed it. My doms that I talked about in my last video again are, especially my chest and shoulders and legs as well. I did legs yesterday, absolutely killing, so I'm gonna be sensible. Although I don't want to, I'm going to have a couple of days off the gym and then go back to the gym on Friday. Just let everything recover and reset and then go again. It's like since the gyms have opened, my mood has just increased exponentially. Like I was just getting sick of home workouts and I genuinely feel so much better. Like it's, it's crazy. It's crazy what the gym does for your mental health. When I was at work, it wasn't too bad because I was just so looking forward to going to the, to the gym and just having that stress relief and pushing myself and just working hard. And it was, yeah, it was just unreal. So I'm, I'm feeling really good now the gyms are open. I feel like I'm looking good as well. Like I'm in a position, I feel like I'm ready to take my physique to the next level and I'm just buzzing for it to be fair. I feel like I've put on 10 pounds of muscle already just from four days back. I mean, I obviously haven't, but just feels really good to be able to just just be in a gym like you don't realize what you've missed until it's, you've got now what is it you don't realize what you've got until it's gone that is the saying so it's like eight o'clock now just had chicken curry for tea with some poppadoms and naan bread can't go wrong top quality meal carbs fats protein i also finished the michael jordan documentary the last dance and that is unreal like i think it might be the best documentary i've ever watched it's so motivational and inspiring um like i'm not even a, a massive fan of basketball um i didn't know that much about michael jordan but it's just done so well and if, you, if you're if you like your motivation i highly recommend to watch it it's just class what motivates me is the unknown no one knows you know they can all speculate but no one really knows and myself i didn't know you know but that i didn't let that stop me you know, and I, I let that motivate me more so than anything that, you know, as long as it's unknown, that means I have a chance. You know, and that's the way I, pers I pursued my whole career. No matter what the game is, or who you're playing against, you have to want the ball. The clock. The pressure. You block all that out. All you think about is what you have to do to win. That's why I love the end of the game. Because it comes down to that one moment when it's all in my hand. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Flight 23. I don't always have to hit the last shot, but I do have to walk away knowing I did everything I could to win the game. 
When you step on the floor, it doesn't matter how many times you've done it before. All that matters is that you do it now. Those are the moments you put in the hours of practice for. Those are the ones you never forget. I never feared about my skills, you know, because I put in the work. Work ethic eliminates fear. So if you put forth the work, then what are you fearing? You know you what you're capable of doing, what you're not. I've never been afraid. I mean, obviously you're nervous. Mm -hmm. But afraid means you're not confident in your skills. I have total confidence in my skills, so I'm not afraid. Also, I shaved my beard the other day because I was just getting too hot when I was working out and it was just sweaty and, and it was just like itchy and it was just annoying me. But I think I do look a lot better with a beard. I mean, I look a lot older. I look like 15 years old without a beard. I just don't think I look as good, do I? But um, it's a good thing about hair, it grows back quickly, so... It's alright, I'll have a nice little beard in no time. But yeah, I guess that's it for the video. Not really done much else today. It was nice just to have a day off work, relax. And yeah, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next one.